We need a strategy where we identify cuts that we can make long term so that we don't have to keep making cuts every year. Despite passing a new multi-million dollar budget, Sacramento City Unified remains in the red with a $24 million deficit. Administrators have voted to cut certain programs and services in order to save money, including a summer initiative that started just last week. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Sacramento with a closer look at those budget cuts. Carlos. Yes, yeah, students enrolled in expanded learning will be able to continue their studies until the end of July, but that won't be the case next year. The expanded learning summer program is aimed at helping hundreds of Sacramento students, an opportunity to get all caught up and grade ready for the new school year. They uh, give you all the information, you know, right now, uh, they help you a lot. They inquire, they instantly help you. But next June, the program will be no more. The Board of Education has decided to get rid of it because of lack of resources, a problem not sitting well with parents. It's not good to eliminate like this kind of, you know, if they're providing this. They have to enhance the uh, skills of the students. That It's pretty bad if it, they are going to eliminate this. Eliminating the $3 million program was part of the district's budget cuts. It also includes cuts to office positions, student services, and a hiring freeze all at its central office. What we need is an ongoing strategy. We need a strategy where we identify cuts that we can make long term so that we don't have to keep making cuts every year. And that's going to be the challenge over this next year. The board is going into the new fiscal year with a $24 million deficit. The reason for the cut, school leaders say, is a result of rising health care costs and a state mandated increase in pension contributions. It's very disappointing because our superintendent has a great vision for equity, access, and social justice and has introduced really uh, small investments to try to help our students who are most at need. Now, expanded learning runs until July 26th. The superintendent is now pursuing an independent financial audit of the district. Carlos Correa, live for us in Sacramento County. Thanks.